Yeah, I can feel the oxygen levels dropping. I can actually feel the difference in the air. God, I do feel really out of breath now. Do you? Yeah. And I've got that sulfur taste it back in my mouth. Yeah, I think it's time to get out. Look at that scenery. Lovely bear down there. We're going to an old port down here. Port Mulgrave, it was an ironworks port. And um, it fell into financial difficulties in the 1930s and closed and it's just abandoned now so let's go have a look I'm uh, with Dave and Civil Trespass today I'm down at Port Mulgrave this was used as an ironworks port and it was, sim it was simply built just to serve that there used to be a big jetty behind me here and a breakwater but it was blown up in the Second World War by the Royal Engineers to stop it being used as a landing point for the Nazis. This was the port. The breakwater was down to my right. I'll put a picture of it up now, of what it used to look like. There also used to be like a jetty over here and uh, like a conveyor belt that pulled all the iron ore down and loaded it onto the ships in this bay. But sadly it's all gone now. What we are here to look at though, is there's two tunnels. There's a, there was an old uh, railway tunnel and a tramway tunnel. And we're going to go look at those now. Right, so we're in, uh, we're in this tunnel. There is a problem with the air in here. The air is very dirty and low oxygen levels. So I've actually got a bottle of breathing air and a bottle of oxygen with us in the back of Dave's bag. So I've got, we took precautions and we're going to be very careful. So let's go. There have been several collapses in this tunnel over the years. Tunnel portals. I can smell uh, methane. Methane? Yep. Right. That wall is so soft. And the air actually flooded in there, so. Be careful, I think if you knock that wall a lot of it will come out. Yeah. I had the feeling when I was just holding it then that it was just oh god I can. Yep. Methane yeah. gas. I think if we just have a look down there into the tunnel and then close it quick. Yeah. Can you get me zoom so it's out? Yes please. Yeah I can feel the oxygen levels dropping. I can actually feel the difference in the air. Could you put the air bottle on? Yeah. Just be safe so we don't both pass out. Yeah, I'm starting to breathe more heavily because my body can't get the oxygen. Yeah, well that's on and ready to go. But uh, See, I don't know if it's just me being, you know, like a placebo, but I feel out of breath. But there's a little, I don't know whether that's a cool brick inside. It is, yeah, the brick, the, yeah. the brickwork is in good condition. It is, a, bit, a little bit deep that for paddling. Yeah, can you see them on the side, like the old wires? Yeah, porcelain insulators. Yeah, yeah, there is a little culvert, a skate culvert, because I think they used to have trams on this, little trams. But, uh, I'll correct that when I'm back outside. I do feel really out of breath now. Do you? Yeah. And I've got that sulfur taste it back in my mouth. Yeah, I think it's time to get out. I'll just take some still shots. My heart rate's going up. I feel out of breath. 
it's time to go. There's been a lot of claps here. You okay, Dave? Yeah, I'm fine. So I think is 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 sulfur and methane heavier than air? Um methane is lighter than air. But as soon as we got over this side I feel okay again. Because we there's plenty of ventilation with the iron bars, grills and grates and stuff. Right, yeah. But you can feel your breathing rate start to increase once you get over there because of yes. the depletion of oxygen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still out of breath now. Wow. But I think that was worth it. That was definitely worth it. I'll turn the light down. Yeah. It's overexposing everything. There we go. Yeah, it was definitely worth it to get the shots. Um, I'd like to just get up there again and take one of the two entrances. Oh yeah, okay. Is that alright? Well, I'll dump it back here, but I'll bring this still in there. Yeah. So we're going to go back in with the air, uh, just in case. I've never felt so hot of breath apart from um, in aircraft that have decompressed. You get the similar sort of feeling, your heart rate goes up. You're feeling out of breath even though you're static, waiting, waiting to drop down or jump out. I haven't had that feeling for years, years and years. Dave's just down there, just getting the air ready. I see Dave. Okay. I can't have that light on maximum because it overexposes everything. Um, yeah, there's he. So we've got breathing apparatus with us in case we start feeling. And that is, is the bottle on? Yep, so, so it's just all you've got to do is breathe through first the regulator. Breath. So all we've got to do is take a first breath and then we're off. So, we'll go back in, get some shots of the other, the tunnel at that side. But this, the wall is so crumbly. You know, if you, I feel like if I hit that with a hammer, a load of it would just come off. There's the two entrances. We'll film it going down and then take a sword Would you like to rephrase that? <laughs> Will it just take a still? No, you have to press stop. I can't even see. Uh, just want to get some shots of this portal. So I missed it last time, so I was too out of breath. Wow! So you can go further down there. Let's take a picture think, of that. I think in the summer, when it's drier and a cylinder each, I think it's doable, is that? Yeah, yeah, big cylinder. Yeah. And just GoPro, it's not the big yeah. camera. Yeah, I mean, this is only a three litre, you put more of this if you're going to traverse the length of the Yeah, so I can feel the oxygen levels going again. Yep. Yeah. Starting to feel drunk and that, you know. <sighs> it's quite dangerous. What are these called? Stalactites. You can actually see the rock formation where it's collapsing. Yeah. Right, I need to get out because I'm getting dizzy. Okay. I'll probably leave that out. Yeah? Yeah. At least you've seen it. Oh, I see it, that's great. Yeah. Look at them, so. yeah. Look at them. It's, it's flooded as well, so yeah. it's a no-go from that point anyway. Yeah, I need proper dive gear and dive gear and lighting and oxygen. Can you taste it now? 
I can taste it. I can yeah. taste it over there. As soon as, you, as soon as you go over there, it's real bad. Yeah. So it will be on that. Yeah. Cool, man. It's good to be in the tunnel, though, isn't it? So I've just been in that tunnel. Uh, we're off to our next explore now. Well, that was quite good. Although it was very dangerous, we needed the breathing air with us. We didn't use it, but it was good to have it there. So if you do come to Port Mulgrave and you go in there, be very, very careful because the air is just full of methane and it is not good enough for breathing. I'm Andy from ALW Exploration. That's Dave. I'm Dave. And that's Civil Trespass. Bye for now. Looking over my shoulder in my head it goes over and over should I leave or want it more looking